Hello, I think we're live. We, we are. We are live. We are live. We are live. We are live. Hi, everybody. I'm Anil Dash. And I'm Jen Schiffer. And we are on the Glitch team here at Fastly. Uh, and today we are going to show you how to make your own personal website, which is very cool. Um, to get started, I'll give you a little bit of background about who we are, what we're doing, and why we want to do this. Uh, so, as I said, we're on the team at Glitch. Glitch is a friendly community where millions of people come together and build web apps and websites pertinent to the conversation today. And we're part of Fastly, which is a company that helps deliver all the websites that you visit every day uh, and make them fast and secure and fun to engage with. So um, our motivation here is really simple. We think everybody should have their own website. And uh, one of the great things we've been able to do with Glitch over the last several years is make it really, really easy to build your own site. Uh, and it's a perfect time to do it because it's sort of coming back into fashion a little bit to think about our presence online. Obviously, a lot of you know energy and attention being paid to social media and things like that right now. But we're also seeing a flourishing of the open internet uh, under different names, whether people call it like the Fediverse, or there's all these different sort of jargon terms for it. But the key thing to understand is it is pretty easy to make a website. In fact, tens of millions of people have done it by making their own sites on back in the day, it would be on uh, you know MySpace or Neopets or LiveJournal or whatever was the tool for you. Uh, and Glitch is sort of bringing that energy back to being able to do this in a couple of minutes. So we've designed this to be a real quick, brief conversation uh, to show you how to do this, show you some examples of what's possible, get you inspired. Uh, and hopefully over you know uh, a coffee break or a lunch break, you can spend a little bit of time at your computer going for free uh, and get your own site set up using Glitch. Yeah, so, and for those of us, uh, for those of you who are watching this live right now, uh, let us know in the chat if the audio and everything is okay. Because I think, Anil, it's been about maybe five years since you and I've streamed together. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. Just, yeah. You know what? And building a website's like that too. It comes right back to you. A lot of folks will have that like, oh yeah, I did this on AOL back in the day or I did this on MySpace back in the day and it'll sort of feel familiar to you. So what we're gonna talk about today is uh, on Glitch, we have what we call starters. They're just little projects that we've made that you can with one click remix and have your own copy of. Uh, and the one we're gonna show you today is called Glitch in Bio and sounds like exactly what it is. It's designed to be a link that you can put in your bio that shows people all the other places that you live online or all the other profiles you've got or links that are just interesting to you that you want them to check out. Yeah, and um, if you, uh, wants to start from a, a shortcut we have on the stream on the top left glitch.news slash links that will also remix uh, a glitch in bio for you so that you don't fall behind if you're joining late. So I'm going to click this remix button and make my own glitch in bio. Perfect. And so what Glitch is doing behind the scenes here is just setting up an entire new website for you. That's a copy of that glitch in bio starter. And the thing you're going to do in order to make that site your own is really, really simple. It is just editing text, literally what you do in an email or anything else. Um, and we've provided a list of a lot of really common services that you can go ahead and fill out um, the links to uh, whatever your profile is in those services. And if you've added a link to, say, uh, your profile on a, you know, a service like Facebook or Twitter or something like that, it'll automatically show up on your bio page uh, with the right icon and the right link. Um, the cool thing about that is we've got, you know, dozens of services that are baked in and, and, and sort of there out of the box, but you can even add your own. And we've seen users adding lots of services uh, over the past, especially the past couple of weeks uh, to add in other services that they like. I'm just uh, updating stuff and you can see as I'm editing, it's deploying uh, or putting the app online or putting the updates online. Uh, and if you want to see it for yourself, you can on the preview link here, uh, preview in a new window. And this URL is ready to copy, paste, and share with everybody. Like this exists. You see, you can go to this right now. If you don't want to go to glitch.com by typing it out, go to fortunecanarysunfish.glitch.me and then click that top link. It's that easy. Yeah, and the thing that emphasizes you can't break anything. It's really easy. You can type whatever you need to do. Uh, if you make a mistake, you can just undo it and go back. Uh, you're not hurting anything if you do that. Um, and there's also within the project, the ability to edit the settings and change that link. So if you don't like the name, you know, Fortune Canary in, in your name, you can change that to your name or whatever you want to, to be uh, the URL that you use. There's even the ability if you own a domain name to add your domain name there. We're not gonna do that here because it takes a couple more steps, um, but it is something that's really, really easy to do and uh, can make it your own. So once you're in there, 
Uh, you can also decide, in addition to your profiles, the links that you want to feature. So what are the sites that you like? What's the content that you want to show off? Um, and we've also added some special features around a particular kind of profile. So in this case, you know, um, Mastodon right now is really popular. It's one of the sort of Fediverse services that people are using. Um, a lot of people see it as like a kind of open source uh, community that is similar to like having lots of different little Twitters running or lots of different little Tumblrs running. Um, and uh, a thing that people miss sometimes is to be able to say, this is really me uh, on, on some of the big networks that would be done through verifying your account. But on Mastodon, it's really simple. What you do is you actually just show, show a two-way link between the website that you own and your profile on Mastodon. And so the way that happens at a technical level uh, is a thing we call uh, rel or relation. Rel is me. Relationship is me. And so you sort of say, this is me over here. Um, and the great thing is if you set up your Mastodon link uh, on a Glitch and Bio site, it'll automatically show up as being related to you. And then if you add that same link to your bio uh, site that you just made and you put that on your Mastodon profile, all of a sudden there's a two-way link. And in a lot of Mastodon apps, it'll show up as if you are kind of verified. I don't know if they actually have a blue check mark. I think it depends on the app that you're using. Um, but it's a nice way to sort of say, this is really me. And, then we, and there's a way to assert that this is actually uh, your presence online. So you get a little bit of that credibility and um, a good way to, to show that it's um, uh, your presence. I can show uh, how that also, looks uh, like with my own Glitch in Bio, because oh, um, cool. my main web page is a Glitch in Bio. Um, it's gentrificalglitch.me. I even have a custom domain set up, so this is my main page. Uh, and I use Mastodon, and I link uh, my URL uh, to my Glitch in Bio on there. And so um, in the layout uh, social.html file. And this is all in the readme. It'll take you through all the steps of the way that you can edit stuff. Um, you see that rel tag that Mastodon tells you about added to the tag for the Mastodon link. And so then my own um, profile here uh, shows my glitch in bio. jenshiver.com is my custom domain. Um, and it's highlighted green. It's verified and it links back. So people know that this is my account and uh, that glitch and in really bio. You. Yeah, it's me. It's you. So that's one of the things you can do. It's really powerful. Um, I also love to see people adding uh, new services. Um, uh, we've had a chance to look at uh, uh, a new profile that was created by um, uh, uh, Rebecca Williams, who's a user that uses Glitch. And um, she had uh, made a, a profile page for herself. And the cool thing was she tweeted about adding additional services. So she uses services like Keybase and Pinboard and Letterboxd which I know a lot of movie fans love. Um, and those weren't things that were built into Glitch and Bio originally, so she added them in. And that's the kind of thing you can do if you want to be you know, a little bit nerdier and sort of dig into it a little bit more. Um, there's kind of the sky's the limit. You can add in anything you want. I think one of the things I see people get excited about is you can embed a YouTube video. You can you know, take a, a favorite photo and put them into your uh, bio site too. There's no, no limits on what you can do because HTML, the web, lets you, you know, make whatever you want. Um, but yeah. that's basically Shout out to it. Rebecca. Yeah, it's really it's really inspiring to see what Rebecca is doing. We also have shared uh, a lot of uh, uh, profiles of different uh, customizations that people have done, like um, San Francisco's uh, BART uh, transit system had built uh, uh, their own list of links using Glitch and Bio. And we've seen lots of other examples like that from people in the organization. So um, we'll share out some of those links uh, uh, through Glitch on uh, uh, Twitter and other platforms where we'll sort of show what people have done with the platform. But hopefully you get a little bit inspired to build um, your own site and also tell your friends that you've been nudging them for a while that they really ought to have their own website and not be dependent on, uh, you know, any platform. Uh, the great thing about this also to know is uh, this is a site that's yours. You can put it on your own domain. Uh, you can you can take it and move it to, you know, whatever other service you want to use in the future. It's something that you can own and, and have over time. And uh, that's uh, that's a nice feeling these days. Yeah. Don't don't pay to um, add links to your web page. You can do it yourself <laughs> for free. Yes, um, the, the web can be free and links can be free and it can be a place that you go and, and experiment with and, and make weird and fun stuff. Yeah, so next steps um, is one, if you haven't remixed Glitch and Bio, you can do so from uh, glitch.com. Uh, Glitch.new has a shortcut for it. Uh, and then take a look at the README. Uh, the team's done a really great job at giving uh, all the directions that you need to do basic edits and even show you how to explore on your own. 
We have themes that are built in that you can use. Uh, and we also talk about the folders where the code for that is. So if you want to experiment with some CSS and style the page, you saw in those examples are different backgrounds and colors and stuff like that, you can do so. Um, there's directions on how to create your own theme. Um, and then there's just other tips and tricks like getting verified links by adding that attribute tag. It tells you exactly where to go. Um, and it also talks about all the different files that are in the project in case you're overwhelmed by everything. Everything has a reason, but you don't necessarily have to edit anything. Uh, and just remember that if you need to revert back to past updates, if you break something, if you just got started, remix another app, it's free. Uh, or uh, <laughs> we have a rewind feature that lets you go back in time um, to past updates. And so I can undo everything that I've done today. You could also, this is kind of fun, you can kind of see the history of the Glitch and Bio Starter app, which is one of my favorite parts about remixing on Glitch is it carries the history forward. Um, we launched Glitch and Bio I think almost like exactly a year ago. Yeah, yeah, just over a year ago, maybe a year ago, yeah. last week, something like that. Glitch yeah. and Bio Showcase was December night. Yeah, I think this is happy, happy birthday, Glitch and Bio. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the key thing there is that people have been innovating and experimenting with it for this year plus, and 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 making new things and sharing what's there. The other thing we sort of say, just like you can rewind the code and undo it if you make a mistake. Um, there's also a really great and friendly forum for Glitch too. So if you're building something you have, you know, you get stuck or you want to ask about, has anybody thought about this idea? Uh, you can go in there and folks will be happy to sort of talk to you about what they've built or what, you know, what else you can do with uh, with your new website. Key thing is, um, you know, we want you to have your own site. We want you to get out there and share it with people. Have that be the uh, the, the place that people find and, the, and find you and the way that you share out uh, your presence online. Uh, and it's something that, it, you know, you can take with you no matter what happens with any, you know, particular platform or any particular company. This is something that can be yours uh, forever. Yeah. And I also want to give a shout out to the rest of the starters that we have, because maybe a link in bio is not something that you're looking to try. Or maybe you want to make your own and start from scratch. Um, we have a number of starters uh, like basic website and like kind of blank versions if you want to experiment a bit more and do something on your own. So we're yeah, not prescribing you. Yeah, the blog starter you. is an amazing one. I, I love that. I, I'm always building little sites for myself using the uh, the blog starter on the Glitch page. Yeah, my my main blog is uh, an 11T blog on Glitch. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'm always I'm always clicking blank version under Hello Node for my uh, my, my big idea. So, yeah. The next great um, American website. Anil, I don't know if you can see what's going on in the chat and see if there are any questions before we I'm, wrap this I'm gonna up. I'm going to jump in there and make sure that we uh, have any uh, questions we need to answer. Um, I think there's shout outs to Bart, and there are assertions that you are too powerful. Uh, and uh, those sound right. Um, and uh, great questions. Uh, one was, are, are there any blog templates on Glitch, which we talked about, and anything that supports ActivityPub? Love this question. So ActivityPub is the uh, open standard that underlies Mastodon and many other sort of similar open messaging uh, tools. Um, we don't have a direct starter for ActivityPub, but uh, we love seeing a lot of the Fediverse and, and Mastodon um, community embracing Glitch for building bots. Um, uh, Luca Hammer made an incredibly popular tool with FetaFinder to be able to find your Twitter friends over on Mastodon. Uh, and we actually put out a playlist um, that is a playlist of apps on Glitch uh, called the Fediverse of Madness um, that we'll share as well, um, which uh, shows a lot of sort of really popular uh, Fediverse apps, both for uh, interacting with Mastodon and other tools, as well as starters for building your own uh, uh, tools around uh, ActivityPub and other protocols. Uh, Darius Kazemi built a really great uh, activity pub tool for testing out uh, whether your uh, app that you've built will interact uh, with activity pub in the right way. So there's a lot of really good tools there. If you're a developer uh, and you want to dive into the activity pub world that are there, uh, we can also imagine definitely the, the blog starter and other things being updated to support uh, formats like that. Um, so if you've got uh, pull requests or suggestions, please let us know and we'll, we'll definitely iterate on those things. All right, I think um, that was a good intro. We don't want to go too long. We want it to be something quick that everybody gets a chance to try this out. We'll probably do more of these in the future, so uh, don't be shy about reaching out to us through all the different formats of the forum and on social media and all that stuff. 
uh, with suggestions of what you want us to talk about in the future. And by all means, if you make a site uh, using Glitch, especially using Glitch in Bio, let us know. We'd love to help get it out there and promote it and shout it out to the world. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's also been five years since we've done this. Please like. And subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> and click the bell and tell your click friends. Click the bell. Go on Tell your friends. Up, text your, up, tell people text your to family members. To the link. All that stuff. So all that stuff. Um, all right. Yeah. And we'll see you on glitch.com. Bye.